Welcome back to my channel. I am currently blonde. Uh, I wanted to do a little get ready with me, do my makeup while I tell you guys how I ended up blonde and what my hair plans are because this was not uh, something that I was planning to happen. I went to the salon the other day and we did this. So yeah, I'm just going to basically do my makeup today and tell you guys all the story of how we got here, why I'm blonde, and what I am planning to do. So uh, basically for the last like Oh my god. Basically, for the last like month or so, I have been talking about how I want to dye my hair blue, and I even ordered some Arctic Fox hair dye in the shades Poseidon and Aquamarine, and then I had a hair appointment on May 2nd, and my plan was to go and get my roots done, because my roots were grown in like about this long, and then I had my purple hair, as you guys have probably seen me have for the last little while, and I was just going to get her to do my roots, and I was just going to come home and dye my hair blue myself, and I was literally just going to put the blue over top of my faded purple. I just wanted fresh roots. And then while I was at the salon, uh, she was like, I have a color remover. I think it was called blank canvas so I don't know if that's one that you can only get like if you're a professional like hairstylist or whatnot I don't really know I had never heard of it before but I was like sure like I would like to have you know a nicer base for the blue hair because I just didn't want to bleach all of my hair because that's damaging so I was like I just want my roots but I never really thought of how a hair color remover isn't as damaging or isn't even damaging at all very minimal damage at least so we did the the hair color remover and it worked so well like both me and my hairstylist is actually my sister-in-law so it's my husband's sister so that's really cool but even like both of us were like oh my god it took the purple right out and then my roots were done we did the color remover and my hair was just blonde underneath because obviously I've like bleached it in the past so that I could have colorful hair and then we toned it and basically I went home from the salon and my plan was to just go home and dye my hair blue but then my hair was such a nice blonde like it turned out so good that I was like I don't even want to dye my hair blue like I think I'm gonna keep the blonde at least for now um, so my plan is actually I posted on my Instagram story and showed how I have blonde hair now and I was like okay so now that I have my hair this light which I never even thought that I would ever have it this light again because I always kind of thought that I would have to bleach the color out in order to ever get it like this and I was like bruh I'm never bleaching all of my hair again I was only ever gonna do my roots and one of my favorite hair colors that I've ever had was when I had silver hair but I was like I can't go back to silver hair that's too much bleaching blah 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 but I can't believe that I'm this light and this close to being able to have silver hair again. So basically, I asked everyone on my Instagram story, I was like, so should I go silver? Like since I'm already here and it would just be like one more session and I could be silver or should I still do the blue? And a lot of people voted for me doing silver and I also want to do silver. So my plan now is to basically go silver and maybe keep that for, I don't know, like a few months, however long I want to keep the silver. And in the future, once I get bored of having silver hair or just whenever I'm ready, I can dye my hair blue, but because it'll be such a nice, like, light uh, silver platinum base, um, I'll be able to do like an icy blue if I want to. Like it'll basically, I'll be able to do like a pastel blue if I want and it'll just be the perfect base. So that's pretty much my hair situation. I guess the TLDR is that I went to the salon to get my hair done and it ended up turning out so much better than I expected. I thought that I was just going to leave with like bright yellow roots and weird faded purple hair and just throw blue on top of that but instead I left with like a beautiful perfect blonde so that's awesome. That's my little hair story and how that all went. I hope that that all made sense. Um, I probably made it sound more complicated than it actually was but overall I'm so excited and I'm so happy and I can't wait to have silver hair again because I really really loved it. I feel like having silver hair is so difficult in terms of keeping it like silver you know like it's never like white enough it's never perfect enough but when I did used to have it for I think I had silver hair for like a year or two I really really liked it and it gave me the Sylvanas vibes 
Sylvanas, if you don't know who Sylvanas is. So I'm, oh God, I'm just so, so, so excited for that. It's really cool because now I basically get the best of both worlds. I'll get to be silver for a little while and kind of, you know, work with what I already have, almost being silver, you know, and then go for the blue because I, I already really wanted the blue, but it's like, cool, we'll just do that later. And I already have the blue hair dye, so whenever I'm ready, I can do that. That's my whole little hair story. I forgot to put concealer on and I'm going to do that even though I already kind of put powder on but not that much so I'm sure it's fine uh, but I would like a more sticky base for my uh, eyeshadow so I like to put concealer on for that now transitioning off of talking to hair and into makeup I feel like we're at a good point because now I've done all my face stuff foundation powder uh, some bronzer contour stuff a little bit um, and my eyebrows. So now we're going into the eyeshadow and stuff, which is the part that I like to actually kind of tell you guys sort of how I'm doing it. I'm kind of doing my makeup a certain way the last couple days since I have blonde. Something about having blonde, I like how it's making my eyeshadow look. I don't know if it's just maybe the lighter hair is making it to where I don't need my eyeshadow to be so dark. I don't really know how to explain it. Like usually I'm like super, super packing on black eyeshadow, but now I don't really need to do that as much. Still a little bit, but not as much. But anyways, today I'm going to be using this kind of periwinkle color. It's called Scandal Water, but it's basically just like a bluish purple color. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my eye. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to start on the bottom. I have this little small brush and literally just that one color, just kind of uniform all around my eye. While I'm doing this, uh, in terms of plans for today, uh, it is Saturday today, so it's the weekend, and my plan is pretty much to just play World of Warcraft. Nothing new there, but honestly I haven't really been getting that much time to play so I'm like feeling so good I was playing like all day yesterday before I had to go to work basically um classic cataclysm which is like the third expansion for World of Warcraft is coming out I think that it's in like the pre-patch right now and I never played the last classic expansion which is Wrath of the Lich King I played it a little but my night elf druid I didn't even like get her to max level in Wrath of the Lich King so she's only like level 74 uh, so I'm working on getting her to level 80 which is like max level for Wrath of the Lich King um, and then for Cataclysm it's from level 80 to 85 so I'm trying so hard to get her to level 80 so that as soon as Cataclysm actually comes out because I think it's still in the pre-patch. I don't even know but all I know is I didn't see anyone was past level 80 yet so I guess that they haven't made it to where you can start leveling yet. I know that that's probably kind of boring to some of you who don't know about WoW stuff but basically I don't want to miss out on playing Cataclysm. I have like a love-hate relationship with Cataclysm because it like destroyed a lot of the world because like Deathwing came like flying around through like all of Azeroth and like literally destroyed a bunch of stuff and like it makes all the questing like different like the quests are all changed because the world is literally like sundered and so I hate it because I'm like I love classic WoW and like the old school quests and uh yeah, so it makes me kind of sad that he like destroyed a lot of the world, but at the same time, Cataclysm was kind of the first time when I was finally like really truly playing WoW. I think I was like 13 or 14 years old, so everything prior to that, like during, because I started playing WoW when I was like 9, um, so during Classic, Burning Crusade, and Wrath of the Lich King, I was like too young to really even understand what was happening and Cataclysm was kind of like the first expansion where I was like a teenager and I was really getting into WoW. So basically I have a lot of nostalgia with Cataclysm and I'm really excited and I want to play. So that's all that on World of Warcraft and Cataclysm stuff. So anyways, uh, all that I've been doing while I've been talking to you guys is I just keep dipping back into that same color. I got a big fluffy brush so I can literally just apply it all up here. So I basically used a tiny brush on the bottom um, and then a bigger brush on top, but then I also like to use this to kind of, I don't know, just kind of like blend everything out. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's so pretty though. I love this color. It's like a blue purple, a periwinkle. 
So yeah, uh, that's basically all that I do. And the next thing, I've been doing this for a few days now and I really, really love it. Uh, inside this Lashy Doodle palette, which is from the Gothic Beauty Box that I got a few months ago, they have a few of these like glittery, sparkly eyeshadows that are very like, I don't like, they're literally glitter. I don't really know how to explain it. I see that, but it's actual like kind of chunky, creamy glitter. And I've been loving this one. I just put a little bit on my finger and and then I've just been dabbing it into kind of the middle of my eye. I like this glitter because it's kind of like rainbow. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just so pretty. Okay, and then the other eye. Yeah, basically just like that, just some glitter. The next thing that I like to do is to add some black. So also in the Lashy Doodle palette, just some normal black, just putting that on. This is like my favorite brush ever. It's kind of like angled and I've talked about it before, but I love it because it's like perfect for doing the uh, like outer corner of my eye because you can really like create that V shape. But I just kind of blend some black into the outer corner sort of kind of just going around on the outside where I just put the glitter and then kind of up top a little bit. So just like that and then a little bit more onto the bottom. Just kind of blend it into that periwinkle color. Kind of come over here a little just for like depth, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Then the other eye. So we're basically just kind of like darkening the outside, I guess. I do this really messy. I literally don't care. Okay, and then the bottom. A little bit over here. And then now I'm just taking that fluffy brush again that I was using earlier. Just kind of, I don't know. Kind of blending it out, I guess. All right, I would say that that's probably good. Um, now, I go in with this kind of smaller brush, which is the one I used on the bottom, and go back into that periwinkle color. Just kind of re intensify it on the bottom, and also kind of, I don't know, sort of in the inner corner kind of on top of the glitter again. I don't really know why, but that's just what we're doing. I just want it to look more vibrant, I guess. Yeah, that's probably about good. And then we're just gonna do my winged eyeliner using this 24 Ever ink liner from Essence, my favorite one ever. Um, it's kind of drying out a little bit, so I hope it's gonna work for me today. Uh, basically, just kind of start with drying. Oops, I got some in my hair, how the hell? Okay, so just kind of start with a little line and then just kind of pull it back down. And then recently I've been kind of doing like a more thin line beyond this point, like really just kind of, I don't know, I used to do it really thick where I would take it and like make it like thick as hell. But recently I've been liking to kind of make it thinner there and then I'm just going to do my inner corner. Okay. Yeah, so something like that is probably good. Okay, then we'll do the other eye. Start with our initial line. And pull it back. Then just kind of thin-ish, kind of fucked up. Okay, then the inner corner. I would say that that is close enough, good enough for me. I am going to go back into this glitter and also just re-intensify it. I pretty much always do this. Every makeup look is pretty much me just like going back over every step and kind of just doing it again to make it more intense kind of. 
Uh, the next thing is our mascara, which is also uh, Essence. This is the Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. I love all the Essence mascaras. I also have this one. Uh, it is also Lash Princess, but it's Curl and Volume Mascara. I just love any Essence mascara. It doesn't really matter, but aesthetically, the purple one is the best. This uh, mascara, I really like to, you know, get it everywhere. I kind of focus on like the outer, the middle, and like the inner, and I just kind of keep going over, but I'm going to skip the mascara because that's annoying. <laughs> that's just like boring, and I'll also do the bottoms, but basically many layers and it's good. Oh, that is pretty much it for the eye makeup. Now I'm going to put on my lipstick. I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of powder and kind of, I don't know. I feel like it helps with like the base for my lipstick if it's not like, I don't know, it kind of dries it up and gives it a better base. Uh, for lipstick, my favorite, of course, uh, I'm going to do my normal purple. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Sway. It is my all-time favorite uh, purple lipstick. It's the best. And I've really been loving it again now that I'm like blonde. I don't know. It's just so much. It's such a vibe. I've been trying to wear darker lipsticks more recently, but now I'm like, yeah, no, the purple. Um, with my purple lipstick, I like to rub my lips together a lot and kind of really like, I don't know, blend it out kind of. I don't like it to be so like perfect and like where it's like, you know, like perfectly applied and then just let it dry. I really like to, I don't know, something about with the purple, I love to do that and kind of thin it out. And we are almost done. I just want to do a couple of final touches. I'm going to kind of go back in with my contour palette because... While I was talking in my intro, I feel like I wasn't really like, I don't know, I was kind of nervous and I want to make sure I kind of, you know, have more, I guess, precision. I've kind of been liking the look of bronzer also with the blonde hair, so kind of going for that and put a little bit on my nose. I'm not like precise with my bronzer, I just kind of put it around. The next thing I'm going to do is put on some highlighter. I've been using this shimmery uh, eyeshadow but really I mean whatever highlighter shimmery eyeshadow or actual highlighter whatever you want to do uh, it looks like that so really really pretty and I kind of stopped wearing highlighter for a while I don't really know why I think I just didn't like doing the extra step but now I've been really like obsessed with doing it again I'm like oh my god it's so cute I love having like little sparkles on my face it's just the best I think that it also kind of complements the glitter on the eyeshadow I don't know I feel like highlighter is one of those things you can't really see that good on camera but in real life it's really really cute and we're almost getting there again I'm gonna go into a little bit of this just plain white eyeshadow and a tiny bit of the highlighter and I'm going to uh, put it on my brow bone just to kind of highlight it give it some sparkle again one of those things that you probably can't tell on a uh, camera but it's there i think that that is everything for the makeup look we did it all so this is kind of how i've really been liking to do my makeup recently i hope that you guys can see that i don't know it's not that exciting uh but that's my makeup for today anyways that is i think everything that i have i'm gonna go heat up my coffee because i i just made this just before i came in here to film and it's already cold because i always end up not getting around to drinking it while i'm filming but i've been having hazelnut coffee creamer recently i bought it from walmart it's called like coffee mate hazelnut coffee creamer and i've been loving it i've never tried hazelnut creamer and I think it's so 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 good. I feel like you can't even tell that much that it's hazelnut but it's definitely in my opinion better than French vanilla coffee creamer so I've really been loving that so I'm gonna go and enjoy my coffee and play some WoW, level up my Night Elf Druid. I'll put a screenshot of her in here so that you guys can see. Um, I'm currently questing through Dragon Blight, which has been a lot of fun. I think I'm almost done, uh, but I'm really loving it. It's been a while since I've fully played through 
Northrend, so that's a lot of fun. And also, my husband and I are gonna order pizza tonight, and we're gonna watch The Mummy. We found it at the thrift store, like the Mummy movie collection, so we're gonna watch that. Um, the reason why I got it is because one of my friends was telling me about how they're having like the 20th anniversary, I think, of The Mummy, and they're playing The Mummy at the movie theaters, but I didn't really feel like going to the theaters and like, I don't know, I feel like going to the movie theater is kind of expensive nowadays, so I was like, let's just go to the thrift store and maybe we'll find the mummy and we can watch it at home because I haven't watched it since I was like a little girl. And we went to the thrift store and we actually did find it. At first, the first thrift store that we went to, we found the second mummy movie and we were like, okay, well, we'll at least buy this even though it's not the first one. Let's just buy it. And then we went to the second thrift store and they had the full mummy collection set so all three of them i think there's three so we have to go back to the thrift store and return the second one because we don't need that one anymore because we found the full set but anyways we're gonna watch the mummy tonight and order some pizza and i'm really excited other than that i'll be playing wow that's the plan for today and probably for tomorrow too um but it was really nice to make a little video and say hi to you guys um i've just been really really busy recently i wanted to try to post more on here and i was planning to film a video dyeing my hair blue but that uh is not happening now so that'll be pushed out probably at least a few months but uh I'm really excited to go silver i don't know if i'll be able to film it because i think i'm going to the salon to do the silver in a few weeks and it's just kind of hard to film at the salon and kind of awkward i guess anyways i could talk forever i'm gonna go now i hope that you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you next time bye